How to fix 500 internal server while opening the YouTube app on Android. Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from App Guide. In today's video, I will show you the way on how you can fix the 500 internal server when you open up the YouTube application on your Android device. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, do make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now 500 internal server, what this basically means is that in most cases this is not a problem with your device but with the server of your IP address or internet connection or with the server of YouTube app themselves. It could also mean that the YouTube application is likely down. So in order to verify it, you can also try to go to youtube.com from your website or your browser and so on and see if the YouTube app is working just fine. If it's not then it is most likely the server issue with YouTube themselves. However, aside from that, nevertheless, we are going to discuss some of the ways and how you can fix it. So the very first thing we will simply do is we will simply go ahead and then open up the settings application on our phone. Once we open up settings, make sure that your internet connection is working just fine and we will go to apps. And as we go to apps, on our list of all these applications, of course, you want to just go ahead and look for YouTube. So go ahead and then simply find YouTube on this list and then tap on YouTube. And what you want to do is go to storage and tap on clear cache and then also clear the data of this application. Once you clear the data, now you could come back and open it and see if it works just fine because if it works then that's perfectly fine as well. However, if that is not fixing your issue then you can also open up your play store and in the search box you could simply type in YouTube. So go ahead and then simply type in YouTube. As you type in YouTube, if there are any type of updates available for the YouTube app, I would recommend you to update it to the latest version because most likely this will also fix the issue. And hopefully one of these solutions may have worked for you. If it did work for you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply also make sure to leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching till the end of the tutorial and see you soon in our next video.